call the case. Good afternoon, Your Honours. This is case number IT 9832-1A, the prosecutor versus Milan Lukic and Sadoy Lukic. Merci. Thank you. Milan Lukic. Milan Lukic, can you follow the proceedings in the language you understand? Da, mogu da sledim. Yes, I can. Presiding Judge, thank you. Mr. Sreda Lukic, can you follow the proceedings in a language you understand? I can, Your Honor. I can follow perfectly well. Suraj. Presiding Judge, thank you very much. Sit down. I would now like to ask the parties to identify themselves, starting with the counsel for the prosecution. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Virginie Monchi appearing today for the prosecution, together with Cal Wood, Matthew Gillette and Matthew Cross, and our case manager, Colin Navrot. Unfortunately, Peter Kramer, the Chief of the Prosecution Appeals Division, is not able to be present this afternoon, as he is currently recovering from heart surgery, and Mr. Kramer has asked me to convey the apologies to Your Honours. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Je demande à présent au conseil de Monsieur Milan Lukic. Could now the counsel for Mr. Milan Lukic identify themselves? Tomislav Višnić and uh, Dragan Ivetić on behalf of Mr. Milan Lukic. Merci. Thank you. I turn now to Counsel for Mr. Sredoja Lukic. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Uh, on behalf of the Sredoja Lukic defence team, myself, Juro Čepić, as lead counsel. On my left-hand side is Mr. Jens Dickman as co-counsel. And on my right-hand side is Professor Knups as our legal counsel. Thank you very much. Merci, Maître. Thank you very much. As indicated in the scheduling order of 12 November 2012, the Appeals Chamber will deliver its judgment in this case today. Following the practice of the Tribunal, I will not read out the text of the judgment except for the disposition. Instead, I will summarize the issues on appeal and the findings of the Appeals Chamber. This summary also does not constitute any part of the official and authoritative written judgment of the Appeals Chamber, which will be distributed to the parties at the close of this session. The events underlying this appeal took place in the region of Visegrad in Bosnia-Herzegovina between 1992 and 1993. For a period in 1992, Milan Lukic lived in Visegrad town. Sreda Lukic, his cousin, was a police officer assigned to the town of Visegrad. In its judgment of 20th July 2009, the trial chamber found Milan Lukic guilty of committing persecution, murder, extermination and other inhumane acts as crimes against humanity as well as murder and cruel treatment as violations of the laws or customs of war in relation to six distinct incidents. In the Drina River incident, Milan Lukic was found guilty 
of having shot at seven Muslim civilians, killing five of them. In the Varda factory incident, Milan Lukic was convicted for having executed seven Muslim civilians. In the Pionirska Street incident, he was found guilty of having sequestered at least 66 Muslim civilians in the house of Adem Omeragic on Pionirska Street and setting it ablaze, killing 59 people. In the Bikovac incident, he was found criminally responsible for having sequestered approximately 60 Muslim civilians in a house in Bikovac and set it ablaze, killing at least 60 people and seriously injuring the sole survivor. He was also found guilty of having shot and killed Khaira Koric, a Bosnian Muslim civilian, and for having regularly beaten detainees at Uzamnica camp from June 1992 until the beginning of 1993. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. The trial chamber convicted Sredoja Lukic of aiding and abetting the crimes committed during the Pionirska Street incident, except for extermination, and for having beaten detainees at Uzamnica camp. He was sentenced to 30 years imprisonment. Milan Lukic set forth eight grounds of appeal, seeking the reversal of all his convictions or alternatively a reduction of his sentence. Sredo Lukic presents 15 grounds of appeal, seeking the reversal of all of his convictions or alternatively, a reduction of his sentence. The prosecution raises two grounds of appeal in relation to the convictions of Sredo Lukic and requests that his sentence be increased. The Appeals Chamber had oral submissions of the parties on 14 and 15 September 2011. I start with the appeals of Milan Lukic, followed by the appeals of Sredo Lukic, and then the ones of the prosecution. in relation to ground 7 of Milan Lukic's appeal regarding alleged fair trial rights violations, the appeals chamber finds that Milan Lukic has failed to demonstrate that the trial chamber had in concluding that he had adequate time and facilities to prepare his defense before trial and that it unduly restricted his defense. However, the appeals chamber finds that the trial chamber did not adequately assess any impact of some of the prosecution witnesses' involvement with the women victims of war association on their credibility. 
and accordingly finds that it failed to provide a reasoned opinion in this respect. The Appeals Chamber has evaluated any impact of the witnesses' involvement with this association when addressing other challenges related to these witnesses. In relation to Grounds 1 and 2 of his appeal, the Appeals Chamber rejects Milan Lukic's challenges to the Trial Chamber's finding that his alleged alibi for the Drina River and Vada factory incidents was not reasonably possibly true. Further, the Appeals Chamber considers that the Trial Chamber did not err in allowing in-court identification per se. However, the Appeals Chamber recalls that little or no weight should be given to this evidence. With regard to the identification of Milan Lukic at the Drina River, and Varda factory incidents, the Appeals Chamber notes that the Trial Chamber mainly relied on the witnesses' prior knowledge of Milan Lukic and that the inconsistencies in their accounts are minor. So you sound the in relation to Milan Lukic's challenges to the trial chamber's finding regarding the victims, the appeals chamber finds that Milan Lukic has failed to show that the trial chamber erred in finding that the only reasonable inference was that the victims were dead. As for his convictions for committing the murders of five persons at the Drina River, Milan Lukic, the appeals chamber finds that by participating physically in the material elements of the crime of murder, Milan Lukic is criminally responsible for the murders. Milan Lukic's convictions are therefore upheld. In relation to Milan Lukic's fifth ground of appeal, the appeals chamber finds that any inconsistencies in the identification evidence were minor and that the trial chamber did not err in identifying Milan Lukic as the perpetrator of the murder of Haira Koric. This ground of appeal is dismissed. With respect to Milan Lukic's third ground of appeal on the Pionierska Street incident, the appeals chamber finds that the trial chamber correctly held that the alibi was not reasonably possibly true. That the witnesses identified him during the incident. And that Milan Lukic started the fire at the Omeragic house. However, the appeals chamber finds that the trial chamber erred in concluding that 59 persons died in the fire and finds instead that 53 persons were killed. In relation to ground four of Milan Lukic's appeal brief, the appeals chamber finds that the trial chamber did not err in finding that the fire during the Bikovac incident occurred that Milan Lukic was identified during this incident 
and that at least 60 victims died in the fire. This ground of appeal is dismissed in its entirety. In relation to the crime of extermination, the appeals chamber is satisfied that the trial chamber did not err in finding that the killings at the Pionierska Street incident and of at least 60 victims at the Bikovets incidents met the massiveness requirement of extermination. The limited reduction by the appeals chamber of the number of victims does not affect this conclusion. Furthermore, the appeals chamber finds Judge Morrison dissenting that the trial chamber did not err in trying in taking into consideration the type of victims and population density of their area of origin when assessing the requirement of massiveness. Consequently, the appeals chamber upholds Milan Lukic's convictions of committing extermination as a crime against humanity during the Pionierska Street and Bikovac's incidents. In his sixth ground of appeal, Milan Lukic argues that the trial chamber erred in the assessment of his partial alibi for crimes committed in Uzumnica camp, claiming that he was imprisoned in Serbia from April 1993 until late 1994. However, even if the alibi documents show that Milan Lukic was imprisoned in Serbia during that period, they do not undermine his conviction since the time period covered does not overlap with his convictions for beatings of detainees in the Uzumnica camp between June 1992 and early 1993. Therefore, the appeals chamber upholds his conviction for other inhumane acts and persecutions as crimes against humanity and cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war in relation to the events that occurred at the Uzumnica camp. Finally, the Appeals Chamber dismisses Milan Lukic's submissions relating to sentencing. I will now address Sredoje Lukic's and the prosecution's appeals. The trial chamber found Sredo Lukic guilty in relation to crimes committed at the Uzamnica camp and the Pionirska Street incident. With regard to the Pionirska Street incident, it specifically found that on or about 14 June 1992, Sredo Lukic was among a group of armed men present at the house of Yusuf Memich, or the Memich house, where at least 66 civilians from the village of Koritnik were held, robbed at gunpoint, and subjected to other criminal acts. Subsequently, 
Sredo Lukic came back with a group of armed men and transferred the civilians from the Memich house to the nearby Omeragic house, which was later set on fire by Milan Lukic, killing a large majority of those detained in it. Sredo Lukic was found to have been armed and present at the Memic house and during the transfer of the victims. The trial chamber found Sredo Lukic guilty of aiding and abetting persecutions and other inhumane acts as crimes against humanity and cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of all. It further found him guilty by majority of murders, both as crimes against humanity and violations of the law or customs of war. In grounds one through six of his appeal, Sreda Lukic challenges the trial chamber's assessment of the witnesses who testified that he was present at the Mimic house and during the transfer of the victims to the Omeragic house. In relation to Sredo Lukic's presence at the Mimic house, the appeals chamber, Judge Morrison dissenting, finds no error and upholds his convictions for aiding and abetting persecutions and other inhumane acts as crimes against humanity and cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war. In relation to his presence at the transfer to the Omeragic house, the appeals chamber, Judges Gunet and Morrison dissenting, also finds that the trial chamber did not err in finding him present and in holding that by his armed presence at the Mimic house and his part participation in the transfer, Sredo Lukic aided and abetted the murders at the Omeragic house by providing practical assistance. While the trial chamber erroneously failed to make a finding as to whether Sredo Lukic's acts had a substantial effect on the commission of the crimes, the appeals chamber finds that this error does not invalidate the trial judgment. In relation to his eighth ground of appeal regarding Uzamnitsa camp, Sredo Lukic submits that the trial chamber erred in finding that witnesses identified him in the camp. The appeals chambers finds judges Pokar and Liu dissenting that in light of the trial chamber's own findings and the inconsistencies in Kustura evidence, a reasonable trial chamber could not have based a conviction on his testimony absent corroboration. The appeals chamber also concluded, judges Bukhar and Liu dissenting, that the trial chamber fail to provide reasons for preferring witness Nurko Dervishevich's prior statement, statements over his oral testimony. 
Consequently, the Appeals Chamber, Judges Pocard and Liu dissenting, finds that the Trial Chamber erred in finding that Srede Lukic beat detainees on several occasions. The Appeals Chamber finds that Sredoj Lukic beat Nurko Dervishevich on one occasion. With respect to this incident, the Appeals Chamber finds Judges Pokar and Liu dissenting, that no reasonable trial of fact could have found that it caused serious bodily and mental harm, and that Sredo Lukic thereby aided and abetted persecutions and inhumane acts as a crime against humanity and cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war. The Appeals Chamber judges Bokar and Liu dissenting, therefore overturns all of Sredo Lukic's convictions related to Uzamnitsa camp. Consequence the Appeals Chamber, Judges Pokar and Liu dissenting, considers moot the prosecution's second ground of appeal, in which the prosecution argues that the trial chamber erred in failing to convict Sredo Lukic for committing persecutions in the Uzamnitsa camp. As to the prosecution's first ground of appeal, the trial chamber found that there was no majority to enter a conviction against Sredo Lukic for aiding and abetting extermination on Pionirska Street. The appeals chamber notes that Rule 87A of the rule states that a majority of judges must be satisfied that the guilt of the accused has been proved beyond reasonable doubt. Since neither Judge Van den Weingart nor Judge Robinson were satisfied that Sredo Lukic should be convicted of this offence, the prosecution failed to prove any error on the part of the trial chamber. And finally, the appeals chamber has dismissed Sredo Lukic's submissions relating to sentences. I will now read out the disposition of the appeal judgment. Mr. Milan Lukic and Mr. Sredo Lukic, will you please rise? Merci. Thank you. For the foregoing reasons, the appeals chamber pursuant to Article 25 of the Statute and Rules 117 and 118 of the Rules, noting the respective written submissions of the parties and the arguments they presented at the appeal hearing on the 14th and 15th September 2011, sitting in open session, Grounds in part Milan Lukic's subgrounds 7D and 3A and replaces the trial chamber's finding that 59 victims died at the Pionirska Street incident with the finding that 53 
victims died. This misses the remainder of Milan Lukic's appeal. Dismisses Judge Morrison dissenting Sredo Lukic's first ground of appeal. Dismisses Judge Kune and Judge Morrison dissenting Sredo Lukic's second ground of appeal. Dismisses Judge Morrison dissenting Sredo Lukic's fifth, sixth, eleventh and 12th grounds of appeal insofar as they relate to his convictions for aiding and abetting the crimes of cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war as well as persecutions and other inhumane acts as crimes against humanity, all committed at the Memich House. Dismisses Judge Gune and Ju Judge Morrison dissenting, Sredo Lukic's third, fourth, fifth, sixth, eleventh, and twelfth grounds of appeal, insofar as they relate to his convictions for aiding and abetting the crimes of murder and cruel treatment as violations of the laws or customs of war, as well as murder, persecutions and other inhumane acts as crimes against humanity, all committed at the Honorage House. Grants in part, Judge Pokar and Judge Liu dissenting, Sredo Lukic's eighth ground of appeal and reverses Judge Pokar and Judge Liu dissenting his convictions for the beatings of Kustura, Dervishevic and other detainees. Grants in part, Judge Pokar and Judge Liu dissenting, Sredo Lukic's ninth ground of appeal and reverses Judge Pokar and Liu dissenting, his convictions for having aided and abetted the crimes of cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war, as well as persecutions and other inhumane acts as crimes against humanity, all in relation to beatings in the Uzamitsa camp, and declares moot, Judge Boka and Judge Liu dissenting, the reminder of his ninth ground of appeal and his tenth ground of appeal, as well as his eleventh and twelfth grounds of appeal in as far as they relate to the beatings at the Uzamnitsa camp. Dismisses Reda Lukic's appeal in all other respects. Dismisses the prosecution's first ground of appeal and declares moot the prosecution's second ground of appeal. Affirms Milan Lukic's sentence of a life imprisonment subject to credit being given under Rule 101C of the rules for the period already spent in detention. Reduces Judge Bokar and Judge Liu dissenting Sreda Lukic's sentence of 30 years imprisonment to a sentence of 27 years imprisonment subject to credit being given under Rule 101C of the rules for the period already spent in detention. Orders in accordance with Rules 103C and 107 of the Rules. 
that Milan, Lukic, and Sreda Lukic are to remain in the custody of the tribunal pending the finalization of arrangements for their transfer to the state where their sentences will be served. Judge Guinea appends separate and partially dissenting opinions. Judge Ajus appends a separate opinion. Judges Bokar and Liu append a joint dissenting opinion. Judge Morrison appends separate and dissenting opinions. Mr. Milan Lukic, Mr. Sledder Lukic, you may be seated. Merci. Thank you. Registrar, would you please distribute copies of the judgment to the parties? There is nothing left to deal with. L'audience en appel est levée. We are adjourned.